Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. Come on with me as I make some delicious food. Okay, so here's what I'm going to be doing to make this baked potato salad. Um, I'm going to be using my, my oven for something else, so I figured why not just stick this in there. And all I've done is I've washed these russet potatoes very well. I actually took a piece of foil and scrubbed it. As you can see, a lot of the skin is off, but I'd like to use the skin in the recipe, so I wanted it to be really clean. I rubbed it with some oil, and I sprinkled some coarse salt on it, and I have about four uh, grains of garlic on here. I don't know yet if I'm going to add incorporate that into the dressing for this, but I'll figure it out. Once it comes out of the oven and I smell it, I'll decide then um, if I want to use it. So I'm going to pop this into my oven at 400 degrees, and I imagine it'll take about 50 minutes to an hour. Obviously, the little one here is going to have to come out sooner, but um, you just you can pierce it with a, a knife or something. Actually, I did stick some holes in it already, but you can pierce it with a knife or something to see if it's ready. All right, so these just came out of the oven. The little one, I pulled it at 30 minutes, and these were in there for about 50 minutes. So what I'm going to do now while they're still hot, I'm going to cut them into little cubes. And I have here six um, strips of bacon that I just crumbled up. And I'll get it in my bowl here and mix it up and just let it sit and cool down. I want to, while it's hot, to have the bacon flavor kind of seep into it. Okay, okay so my potato has cooled down sufficiently. I have it in this big uh, container because I'll be able to toss it a lot easier. I'm going to add some nice cracked pepper. Just give it a few turns. I think that's good. So, what I'm going to do is make the dressing for it. I'm going to use a combination of um, mayo and sour cream. Alright, that is about a half of a cup of mayo. And let me get a spoon for the sour cream. Okay, so I added a half cup of sour cream. And I'm gonna add in here, I would say about a half a teaspoon of salt. Now I wanted to only use um, green onions but <laughs> I realized at the 23rd hour that I only had a couple of strands so I'm using that with some chopped red onion and I did them as finely as I could. I didn't want to grate them because I didn't want to release more of that liquid that's in there. So I did it as finely as I can. And I'm also going to add just a little bit of sugar. I would call that about a half teaspoon. And that's it. I'm gonna get this mixed up. And then we will get it added to our potatoes. And you want to taste it just to make sure it tastes okay. Mm -hmm. Usually I add some vinegar to my potato salad but I'm not doing that this time because the sour cream already has a sort of um, sour texture. Alright, and it certainly would not be a baked potato without some really nice cheese. So I have some cheese crumbles here. I found this three cheese uh, cheddar at, um, actually it's Monterey Jack Kobe and cheddar at the store. And I'm going to use my hands to toss this because I don't want to mix it around with a spoon and get everything all crumbled up. 
So, I figure with my hands, I have better control. You get everything tossed. Look at that. That looks fantastic. All right, I'm gonna get it all plated up and I'm gonna have to taste it also. Gotta take one for the team and taste. Okay, here's our finished product. And I'm gonna get some on a fork here. Try to get a piece of potato, cheese, and bacon. Yep, that certainly does taste like a, a baked potato, a loaded baked potato. And after I tasted it initially, I decided I wanted a little more of a zing, so I added a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and, I, and that rounded everything off. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I sincerely appreciate you, and I hope you come back next time, because I promise to make another delicious recipe. Bye.